Hi drivers, Paul Taylor from Truckers Justice Center. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about what constitutes an accident, an incident, things of that nature that you might find on your DAC report. As a preliminary matter, there is no company called DAC Services anymore. The company had that name years ago, but generically we refer to a DAC report as someone might refer to a puff's tissue as a Kleenex. But a DAC report or an employment history report is a consumer report, which means it's subject to the Fair Credit Reporting Act, which doesn't just apply to credit reports. That's just the name of the act. It applies to any consumer report, credit, medical history, and employment history. So there are basically three entities that are now perhaps for now publishing information about drivers, employment history, and accidents. So one is higher right. Prior to being called higher right, it was called USIS Commercial Services. Prior to being called USIS Commercial Services, it was called DAC, D-A-C Services, which stood for drive a check. Why, I don't know. That's before my time, and I've been a trucking lawyer since uh, uh, 1984 and representing drivers primarily since 1996. Prior to that, I represented some drivers, but mostly represented trucking companies. So what I get frequently is drivers who call me and say, the company put an accident or an incident, they called it an accident, and they put it on my DAC report or my past employment reference report. And they'll say, it wasn't an accident, it was an incident. Well, there is no definition in, in the law of what constitutes an incident, or even necessarily what constitutes an accident. Now, DOT's got a regulation at 49 CFR Part 390.5 that says, an, a reportable crash or accident is where there's been a fatality, a vehicle was towed, not necessarily your tow, your vehicle's towed, or where a person was injured and required immediate medical treatment away from the crash scene. So you know, ambulance, tow, um, or a fatality. Now that's the definition of a DOT reportable accident. Now, so I've seen cases where a driver curbs a tire and a trucking company puts on the DAC report, that's an accident. Now what constitutes an accident for purposes of a DAC report is not necessarily a DOT recordable accident. Curb a tire, and I, I hate to say this, but you curb a tire, you run over a flower, you bump a dock door too hard, a carrier can report that as an accident on your DAC report. They just can't report it as a DOT recordable unless, you know, the flower required an ambulance to take it to the hospital. I'm just joking. But so it's very difficult to challenge what constitutes an accident on a, on a DAC report, a uh, driver IQ report. That's just a company that competes with DAC. Driver Facts, 10th Street. You can report it and dispute it, So, but it isn't necessarily going to get that off your DAC report. So if you find something that you think should be reported as an incident that's an accident, it's not really a uh, likely you're going to get that off unless you do the following, and you're not legally entitled to get it off. If you see something that you believe is incorrect on your DAC report, your higher right report, your driver IQ report, your 10th Street report, your driver fax report, or one of the companies that stores information for carriers, make a dispute under the Fair Credit Reporting Act, contact higher right or driver IQ or whoever reported shows up on, dispute it, tell them it's false, ask them to investigate. If the carrier doesn't respond in 30 days, it has to come off. If they respond in 35 days, it can go back on. So uh, it's not really easy to get an accident, so-called a non-DOT recordable accident, off your DAC report, your higher right report. But the best way to at least to make that attempt is to dispute it. Finally, as to whether a, a DAC report or an accident is marked as a preventable or non-preventable is largely subjective. So say, for example, you hit black ice you hit black ice in a snowstorm, and the company calls it preventable. 
they're entitled to an opinion different than yours, and you're probably not going to win a lawsuit litigating over that because perhaps they argue that you didn't do an adequate job to check weather reports. Maybe you shouldn't have been out there in the first place. It's not that I'm not taking your side. I'm telling you it's a high legal burden to get accidents off a DAP report, um, a uh, driver fax report, a driver IQ report, or 10th Street. So best thing, be safe in the first instance. Thanks for watching.